Maria, I finished. You finished what? I finished my arrangement. Beautiful. Thank you. I love it. Just doing something you really like to do, you'll be so happy. I think we should let Marie do the florals, sorry. I think that you're ahead of your time. It's very modern. Yeah. Avant-garde, yeah. some might say. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville saint fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Anna loves decorating the chateau with flowers, but with 16 rooms and no more cut flowers during the winter months, this means spending a lot of money, money that I could more wisely spend on power tools and camera gadgets. However, thankfully Marie came to the rescue, a talented young florist who we discovered on Instagram. And look how they just um, um, move um, when you sort of shake them a little bit. Yeah, make pretty. It creates a bit of motion. Yeah, I would always have thought of ivy as a weed, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing is a weed, but... Okay. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, it's nice in the winter to use them, isn't it? To bring a little I bit... I actually like that. There's some colour yeah. left. Yeah, yeah. We should get bags. Yeah? yeah. We do. I, there's a little bit here as well. Yeah. Cut. Naturally dyed. Yeah. No need to buy them dyed. But this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. They look lovely. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? Oh, there's more over here. Oh! <laughs> Don't use all of them. <laughs> we only have 5,000 tonnes. <laughs> well, it's probably good because we're deadheading at the same time, no? Yeah. <laughs> do you have enough room or do you want to put it in here? Have you got some room? Yeah. All right. Put some in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's getting nice and full now. Yes, it's a quite a good forage. I must <laughs> say. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. So just put that there? Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Already it looks pretty where it is. Yeah. So these are all the things that we foraged this morning. Yeah, the ivy, and we got the ferns, a little bit of everything really. We got the dried here, Roscus hydrangea, and then I've got all the flowers I brought with me, obviously. So quite a good uh, collection. Good, good mix. Yeah. <laughs> Last year I got as far as sowing some wild meadow flowers yeah, yeah, and that was about it but uh, I loved it because it was so easy and I had flowers the whole summer for our guests you know to make little posies for yeah. the tables and in the guest room so yeah. yeah so I'll definitely I definitely want to sort of something I want to to get better at. This I actually picked in the hedge grower uh, at Lalande and um, it's a wood sage so it smells, smells really lovely yeah and um, mm -hmm. I like it when they've got really uh, like new shoots and they look really quirky and green. Yeah. Um, I thought it would look nice as a little addition. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So you can get a lot of things in the hedge grow. Yeah. <laughs> so, as long as um, you sort of respect the plant and not uproot things, because yeah. I never do that. I no. just cut a little bit here and there. Pick as you've never been there before and nobody can see that you've been there. It's like my golden rule. I discovered Marie, like, uh, I think it was 
quite a while ago on Instagram. Yes. Um, and I just love Marie's um, oh. florals and her style. And um, so I've been following you for ages. <laughs> and, and also always trying to sort of be a bit inspired by your um, creations for doing things yeah. myself here yeah. because I have no idea. I have no experience with florals. Yes, you do. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pick it up from you, but obviously when we have guests here, it's lovely to fill the chateau with flowers. Yeah. And if we can do it ourselves, then obviously it's a big saving for us. And yeah. so I'd just love to learn a little bit more about how, how you work and pick up some tips. And <laughs> Absolutely. You can basically get whatever you want and quite lovely, beautiful foliage and flowers. Yeah. Not so much flowers now, but yeah. I picked these uh, wild radish uh, plants, which so has pretty. flowers on them. And it's incredible what you can actually find now in January um, out and about. And it doesn't need to be uh, expensive. It actually can be free. Yeah. And um, that's what I love. And what I love with flowers and floral design is to combine uh, what you can find in nature with something that you bought. I generally like to mix them in because then you get that natural, beautiful look. You get quite far away if you just sort of pick up like a little bunch of broom, for yeah. example, which is beautiful and smells amazing, um, and just mix it with whatever you get dried. Or the rustiest. Um, oh, that's pretty, yeah. Yeah, like sometimes I find that florals just mixed with foliage, filler flowers is what we call them, yeah. like flowers who are not like a concrete flower, but a foliage that looks yeah. like flowers, and just mix that in a vase. That could be quite beautiful as well. Yeah. Um, and using lots of uh, picked greens in the garden. I love it's that. So pretty. Um, you can get a far. You can get quite far just by you know picking up a few blooms in the market, and yeah. that's it. I sort of like to start with the greens and the foliage first. So everything that's dried or green, make that little nest. And then I add the little flowers, which is more the design um, side of the, the bouquet, making it look aesthetically pleasing. You sort of um, um, make a little pyramid, as I like to say. You um, sort of cross the stems into each other so that you get a spiral. Okay. Um, and then you continue to add the stems um, down on your right, on the side ways, and make sure there's no leaves uh, underneath your hands, because this is where the water will be. Um, and then you just add, you keep on adding and you can spin the bouquet around in your hand. And the spiral is what gives volume to the bouquet up oh. here. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't have the spiral down here, the flowers will look very flat in together up here. It's really interesting because there's obviously so much technique behind what you're doing, Marie, but you make it look so effortless and um, yeah, but it's really good to learn a few of those little tips so that you know yeah. you can try to keep that in mind. And I love to use these little buds, off cuts, um, just here and there. And I'm working more on one side since I'm going to make this for the mantelpiece here. I'm making a like a front and then a back. So flowers in the back go higher and then the flowers in the front go lower. And I'm going to add more flowers in here. Now I sort of bind it together. And I'm going to have this go a little bit taller and off to the edge. And then I'm going to make the similar one just a little bit shorter. Um, and I thought maybe you wanted to do one. Yeah, I would love to have a go. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. So maybe start with the hydrangea. You take one straight, mm -hmm. one to the side. Okay, so they make like a cross. Yes, and then one like that crosses in. So it okay. looks like there's a pyramid. Ah, I see. Yeah, shape. like a wig whammy kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And think about where your front is and where your. Is that? Yeah, perfect. Okay. okay. Do you want to use this one? Yeah. And then this would go sort of over the top yeah. like this. You can even poke it in between. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe add some more. Um, Something over this side. Yeah. yeah. Like, and maybe yeah. try to add some more greens down below. Yeah. yeah. Not so much building up because okay. it's going to be quite a low one, yeah. I think. Yeah. Anna, if I compare it with Maurice, I must say, <laughs> we're not there yet. Uh, yes, we are. It's <laughs> not <Some> finished yet. <laughs> I see the orange flowers. I popped them in there. Beautiful. Thank you. I love it. I 
really look stunning. Last final touch. And I love the orange, it's so nice and yeah. it lifts it. Yeah, it does. It sort of um, um, gives that little extra colour yeah. and um, it really complements the green colour in the wall on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I love these quirky little bits that you can just pop in. There we are. Colour wise, I like to go like in like dusty soft colours and I don't tend to mix too many colours. I like to maybe have one contrast colour. It doesn't need to be difficult or complicated. Just uh, take what you have and make the most out of it. Now the whole day I was filming Anna and Marie doing their flower arrangements. And not once did they ask me if I want to have a go. I assume they think I'm not good at it. But I'm going to prove them wrong. I have everything I need. My basket. Oh, I forgot my scissors. But who needs scissors? I'm looking for something nice, for something green and leafy. How oh, about this ivy? This on its own would look nice in a vase. What else? This is quite green, I need something maybe in a different colour. Oh, too big of a branch. If you wonder what style I'm going for, I think I want something a bit more contemporary. Something bold, but at the same time poetic. With a hint of avant-garde without being pretentious. Oh yeah. Fun. Perfect. Ah, scissors would have been good after all. One, two, three. That's good. Holly. Holly is always nice. One, two. These leaves, I like them. Well, I don't want to harm this beautiful tree. But... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, look at this. What's that? But that's too pretty, I don't want to take that. I have no choice but to go for one of the hydrangeas. I know it looks like I'm copying them, but it's kind of an obvious choice, isn't it? It's already a bit broken. Maybe. This is nice. This looks good. I know it's really bad doing it like this, but I have to prune these hydrangeas anyway, so. What else, what else, what else? I think one of these branches could look really nice. You know, make it more structural, more architectural. This is a brilliant idea. Everything looks the same here. Probably because everything is the same here. It's not so easy after all to find the right plants for a bouquet. Oh no, I just dropped my hydrangea. That was my best piece. I think I'm done. Wait, bamboo, that looks different. The reason why you find bamboo in many 18th century chateau gardens is because they harvested the sticks for their vegetable gardens. But if you don't cut them back regularly, then they get totally out of hand. And that's exactly what happened in our garden. So what we learned was that the plants have to be in a pyram pyramid shape. Something like this. Well, then you add things and, and you look at it and you go, you hold it like this and then you see if it looks nice. And, if it's not enough, you add even more things, and that's going to make it different from all the other arrangements. The branch, naked nature. Interesting. If nothing else, it's interesting. One last touch. Beautiful. Maria, I finished. You finished what? I finished my arrangement. And uh, I need your honest opinion. I wanted something a bit more contemporary, yeah. without being pretentious. Wow! Here hard. it is. Well, I do like it. Different textures, 
really, really nice. Um, I do like that you use the branch as well. Yes. Really restricted. I think that's original, isn't it? Yeah. Only thing is, there's quite a lot of leaves in the water. Oh. <laughs> is that a bad thing? Well, um, leaves in the water will contaminate the water and create bacteria. So okay. the flowers will uh, last less. Um, but uh, otherwise, it's very nice. <laughs> Thank you. I think you're really kind to me because you're here. <laughs> I'm not sure how honest you are. But no, but absolutely. <laughs> this is just a proof of how you actually do not need to buy flowers uh, to create something fresh and nice into your home sometimes just branches in a vase yeah. without water even can look really nice it's really pretty i like it thank you thank yeah. you let's call it a prototype maybe yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i do i like the different because you've got the boston here and you've got the ruskers and you've got bamboo yes well. i think a bit of an asian and touch holly? yeah <laughs> maybe the holly is a bit off <laughs> but I couldn't find anything else. It's like we have so much holly everywhere, but yeah. I like it. I think you should show Anna. I, I, will, I okay. will. Thank you very much, Marie. You're really kind. What do you think? Oh, wow. Marie thinks it's good. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, it's very rustic. Yeah. It's um, no, it's not rustic. It's experimental. It's contemporary without being pretentious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can see that. I think you're making fun of me. I, I think we should let Marie do the florals. Sorry. Can we put it in one of the guest rooms? In the evening salon. No. Maybe we can leave it here in the kitchen. In in our room. <laughs> or we could keep it outside. Outside. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, it could look great in the garden. I see what you mean. No, you did a great job. Really love it. Well, you had a personal coach for several hours whilst I was filming, so I just picked up a couple of things and I, yeah. see, I tried to reproduce them. <laughs> so it wasn't a real success with Anna, my bouquet, but I have one more chance. I have two very special guests here today and with a bit of luck <laughs> <laughs> oh this is the one you may have shall i hold it for you yeah what do you think i like the different foliage That's i a, uh, like honest. it you like it yes i think it has a japanese quality mm. look at that you brought you brought the woods in <laughs> yes that, exactly exactly right? i think it's an original choice i like holly and I like hydrangeas, so I like it's a fern, win for me. And I like the twig. Well, there's something for everyone in there. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Did you decide that you just are you going for the blunt, the blunt ended bit there? The, the, yes, the promise. I didn't have scissors. I forgot to take scissors into the forest. Oh, uh, okay, fair but enough. It was a long way back, so I had to. It's very you know, Morticia Adams, like uh, just <laughs> cutting off the tops of the roses and just leaving the stems. Do you know what? Though? I think you might be onto something. I mean, seriously. Twigs and ferns. Imagine an entire bouquet, like a huge vase with just twigs and ferns. Oh, thank you so much. It'd be amazing. I think that you're ahead of your time. It's very modern. Yeah. Avant-garde, yeah. some might say. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm taking, <laughs> I appreciate it. taking this inspiration back to La Land. Where is it going to live, by the way? Should we put it down somewhere for you? Well, I asked Anna and she thought that the best place would be in a garden. <laughs> <laughs> They do that to me whenever I really like something um, and that they don't like. They're like, so you can save it for a summer garden party. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I'm going to put it down somewhere for you. Though, yes, we can place it in the in the breakfast salon as long okay. as Anna doesn't see it. It's always nice to develop new skills. <laughs> Maybe where the candle is at the moment. Oh yes. It is true that anything looks good on this fireplace. We're sitting having breakfast here, thinking. <laughs> We're so jealous. We're so jealous because we haven't got one wall of any room in the entire Chateau at La Lande that's symmetrical. Oh. Not one. There's nothing here. Look at that. It's like a Wes Anderson movie. It's so symmetrical. <laughs> I could stare at it for hours. Makes me really happy being here. Oh.
join us next time for part two of our chateau tour. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and check out our Patreon page, where we post exclusive videos and offer other goodies to our supporters.